After our last look at video game voice actors in real life, we had a ton of great suggestions for other actors to include. Some of them weren't even Nolan North. So allow us to present six more popular video game actors in the flesh. Alright, fine, Nolan North. You might remember Nolan as the voice of every video game character ever. Or more specifically as Nathan Drake. Where is it? I don't know, buddy. You insult me. You're a pirate. Desmond Miles. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. Mockney supervillain the Penguin. Stay where I can see you, Batman. And the rest. But Nolan is also a mainstay on US TV, cropping up regularly in cop shows with acronyms for titles, like CSI and NCIS. Here he is in American drama Pretty Little Liars, doing conspicuously little adventuring or supervillainry as the father of main character Spencer Hastings. Spencer, I'm asking you to just look at this as a means to an end. Okay, if he wins, I win. Got it? Brandon Keener is better known to gamers as Garrus Vakarian from Mass Effect. Now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. You might also recognize him as Detective Harold Caldwell from L.A. Noir. Look, Phelps, in a minute a bag man named Rampley's gonna walk in here. We don't care about Rampley so much as we want his boss. He's the one we're gonna put away for fixing the race. Here he is in HBO miniseries The Pacific being a World War II jerk. <laughs> nice try. She's not interested. Actually, I don't have any plans for tomorrow night. Oh, is that right? Really? <laughs> Obviously, I've been wasting a lot of gasoline. Courtney Draper plays Elizabeth in Bioshock Infinite, early contender for our favorite character of 2013, even if she did throw a book at us. Come on, let's go. Why? What could be better than this? Part of Elizabeth's appeal comes from a fine performance from Courtney. She hasn't had many live action roles, but here she is playing a delusional cosplayer in short film Booth Girls. You, sir. What treachery are you party to? Or are you merely the vanguard of an army of supplanters? Speak, peasant! Elias Tufexis can be heard gruffly telling people that he never asked for this as Adam Jensen in Deus Ex Human Revolution. I never asked for this. If you want to make enemies, try and change something. But if you want to see him in the flesh, check him out in this clip from sci-fi series Alphas. Hey, Doc. Long time no see. He works for Stanton Parish. They don't care who they hurt. Come on, Doc. That any way to talk about an old friend? We used to have some. Keith David is known to gamers both as the voice of the Arbiter from the Halo series. Drawn quite a crowd. If they came to hear me beg, they will be disappointed. And as Admiral Anderson from Mass Effect. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. However, our favorite live action role of his has to be that of Frank Armitage in They Live. Yes, the guy Roddy Piper has the ridiculously long fight against. Look, you crazy mother. Put these on. Hey! Stay away from me! I'm telling you, you dumb son of a- One of the most recognizable voices in all of gaming, David Hayter provides the voice for Metal Gear Solid Snake. Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards. Nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. As well as being a voice actor, David is also a screenwriter, having worked on X-Men, X2, The Scorpion King, and Watchmen. He also starred in Guyver 2, Dark Hero, which, <laughs> holy shit, looks awesome. Besides, it doesn't matter who wins. I doubt the government is any more responsible than Kronos. No, we can't. All that knowledge. I'll never get a chance to do the research. Neither the way will I. But if we don't destroy it, too many people will die fighting for it. So, there were six more voice actors from games in the flesh. Any more you'd like to see? Let us know in the comments, subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time on Outside Xbox. I wonder how Keith David and Roddy Piper are getting on. Ah, yep, still going.